Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. In our last video, we saw that from summer 19, we can now use custom metadata types inside a process builder, which I'm very excited about. And I wanted to share this quick video on how you can make it useful and how you can make it work for you. Um, so for today's example, we are seeing that um, we have an opportunity record and we do have a related record called um, metadata, sorry, called milestones. And basically, any time a stage changes, based on that stage, you want to create certain milestone for for the sales user to be on track. Maybe you can you can then have certain automations on milestone. Maybe follow up with the customer, send them an email, uh, perform a background check, things like that, based on the stage. And this is a very common use case that I've seen because you don't want to use the standard task task object for um, data that you probably will have a lot of uh, records for and. Um, Task sensitive standard objects kind of limited, so I, I highly recommend using something like this. Um, okay, so what we are going to do is sta stages uh, based on what stage you want to create milestone with certain specific names, and the names should always remain the same for those stages, so that you don't want you you don't want to depend on users entering those information, and it could be other information too, like start date, end date, um, things of that sort. Uh, so we are going to use custom metadata for that because. Um, First of all, uh, unlike custom settings, you don't have to worry about uh, putting that uh, data uploading those records again in a new sandbox or production environment. So, which is where custom metadata type is really great in in a way that you can deploy them along with the records, so you don't have to worry about uh, data upload of it unless you are using hierarchy custom settings, of course. So, if you have never used custom metadata type, if you go to setup, you'll find something called custom metadata types. And all you need to do is create a new custom metadata type in a way that you would create a custom object. So here I have milestone meta, I'm calling it an underscore underscore MDT, meaning uh, metadata. And it has standard fields just like anything else. Label label is basically the name, um, name that you'll be using. And then there is a API name also, which is called the record name or developer name. And then I, I also created a name custom field. It could be anything, you could create a pick list, uh, formula as well I think now it's supported also um, so and then the way you'll create records for this is here manage milestones data here I have a follow-up with customer um, let's say I want to create one more metadata say perform background check and I'm just gonna call it the same here you don't really need um, two name fields save it so now what you're gonna do in Process Builder is actually set that value using the Process Builder based on the stage. It's a very simple Process Builder. Of course, it can get complicated based on your requirement. But here, I just have a stage. I'm saying if stage equal to negotiation and review, then add an action, create a record, and uh, let's say perform background milestone. So that's the record we want to create. And then we're going to say milestone here. Now let's set up the um, milestone name because that's that's the use case here. Um, so if you go under system variables, you'll see custom metadata is the first one. And here you will actually see the first of all, you'll see the object, then you'll see the name of that, meaning these. It's kind of um, reverse nature. So first you'll see the records in there. So I have two records. So I'm going to say perform background. And then you'll see what fields you want to pull from that record. Um, what I'm interested in the name. You could pull label or whatever other fields you had. So it's kind of reverse. It's Usually it goes name, field, and then the record. But it's kind of reverse. So you have to come to record and then pull what fields you want from that value. Which makes sense. So let's choose that and use this formula. So that's going to be our name. And obviously you want to tie it to that opportunity. So I'm going to say opportunity, sorry, opportunity uh, field reference, and then just the basically the opportunity we are on. Um, opportunity ID, and save it. All right, let's just activate it and take a quick look. So I'm in, I'm in this opportunity. Um, I'm just going to switch to negotiation and review directly and mark it as a current stage. Make sure we have that active. Great. Um, so mark it as current stage. And now we should have a 
milestone of that name that we just created. So there you go. So we have a perform background check milestone. And you can obviously, based on use case, you know, make it make it as expensive as you want. Uh, and with process builder, always be cautious on the number of process builder you have in that org and number of other automations that you might have on the same object. Because uh, as easy as it is to use, you might run into a lot of issues um, if you are not careful and not like the guard of uh, the process altogether. So thank you so much for watching. In my next video, um, we'll see how, how to set record types for uh, this same milestone object. Thanks so much.